Pro Football Weekly is grading every team in the league on their post-lockout moves. Right now, we're talking about the AFC North. And Eric, the Baltimore Ravens have been one of the class teams of this division and the conference the last few years. But after a D-plus offseason, are they still there? Yeah, I mean, they obviously had to cut a lot of salary cap space. We thought they might be gearing up for a big move, a Namdi Asma, maybe a Steve Smith from the Panthers. But... You know, the window's closing here, and what do they do? Uh, maybe the run game's a little bit better with guys like Vontae Leach, Ricky Williams. Maybe he's a little bit of an upgrade over McGahee, but I'm not sure if the passing game improved. And if you're going to set it up for your young quarterback and Joe Flacco, you've got to really improve the, the pass receivers as well. Yeah, losing Mason and yes. Heap, that offense, really not that much better. The Cincinnati Bengals, oh, Bengals, what are you going to do? Not a great year last year and probably a worse offseason. Give him a D. Uh, I don't think any other team other than maybe the Raiders had a worse offseason. Yeah. You know, Carson Palmer and that standoff there. Jonathan Joseph, I don't think Nate Clements makes up for him. The, the wide receivers still, even though they were head cases, they did produce. And so I'm not just crazy about a lot of their additions seem like fringe guys that just sort of fill out the roster a little bit. Certainly feels like a team that's not going to be much yeah. better this year. The Cleveland Browns, another team with some questionable moves in the offseason, or really just lack of moves. You gave them a D plus. I'm getting a reputation as being a really tough grader yeah. apparently here. But uh, yeah, the Browns pretty much sat out free agency. You know, no, no big losses, but what games? This is a, this is a roster that lacks for depth across the board. Osama Young, they lost Ke Ke Kenyon Coleman. Not a lot of big moves, not a lot of big shakeups, but boy, they're going to be so thin, I think, by the end of the season. This really hurt them. Yeah, how much better are they again this yeah. year? Should be interesting. We'll see. The, the Pittsburgh Steelers never really active in free agency, yet they seem to make just enough bring back their own guys to get it done, a B-. minus. If you take their philosophy into consideration, the way they go about it, they don't make a lot of big splashes. The fact they were able to re-sign Ike Taylor, right. You know, Willie Cologne back. Those are huge moves, okay? They keep the core of a Super Bowl team. To me, that's a B minus right there. No big gains, but no big losses. And hey, no Big Ben talk either. That's the big thing. Last season was a mess. They've kept, except for a few Heinz Ward things, they've yeah. kept it pretty quiet. I there. think a nice Super. quiet offseason yeah. is just what the doctor ordered. That is a look at the AFC North. For full coverage of the NFL, check it out at ProFootballWeekly.com.